Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. So Scorpio, the messages that I put forth, they are timeless. Whenever you click on this video, that's when they could resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what applies and leave the rest. This is for someone rising, Venus, North Node, as well as Jupiter. So definitely check your other placements. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap in to see what's the energy spirit. Give me some messages for Scorpio. What is the energy? Messages for Scorpio. What's the energy spirit? What messages do you have for Scorpio? What would you like for them to know at this time? What is the energy? Messages for Scorpio. What would you like for them to know at this time? What is the energy? Okay. I have the chariot, Cancerian energy. You've got Cancer highly aspected and the Eight of Wands. Somebody could be purchasing um, a new vehicle. Be mindful too of your driving to ensure that um, nothing unexpected happens. I definitely see um, some very fast communication something's coming in very quickly for you here Scorpio that you don't see that you're unaware of give me an energy for the chariot why is the chariot here for Scorpio what would you like for Scorpio to know to hear at this time spirit messages for Scorpio why is the chariot here what's the energy Why is the chariot here? What's the energy? I have the high priestess, Pisces energy, heavy on the water. Give me another energy for the chariot. I have the eight of cups. And I have the ten of swords. Everything is fine. I feel like somebody is secretly walking away from a situation. I'm hearing whereabouts. I'm hearing unknown, so I feel like this person definitely is not telling anyone, or this is you, Scorpio. I feel like somebody's definitely going to be devastated about your departure or about this person's departure, but somebody's definitely leaving. Give me an energy for the High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here for Scorpio? What is the energy? Why is the High Priestess here, Spirit? I have the Nine of Swords. Somebody's stressing out. They're worried. Two of Wands. It's like you're leaving without this person. Um, you're definitely not taking this energy into your new cycle. And somebody feels devastated by this. It's like somebody just has to sit and watch you move on. Or watch this person move on. Give me an energy for the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Scorpio? What is the energy? Why is the Nine of Swords here for Scorpio? I have the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this is you leaving behind multiple people. People in your family, friends. Um, somebody definitely is choosing... To go in a brand new direction starting over and not trying to take any type of baggage anything that's going to be a blockage cause any type of stagnation i just feel like you're ready for the new give me another energy for the nine of swords lots of nine of swords here the knight of wands yeah i feel like somebody's moving on very quickly and it's like you're taking everything with you. I feel like for some of you, like you're leaving someone or you're leaving people to really fend for themselves. I feel like you could have been surrounded by some very codependent energies or this is someone else. Give me an energy for the Knight of Wands. Yep, the Ten of Cups. Um, somebody's going towards their fulfillment. Ten, ten. Somebody could be seeing that quite often. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Someone is devastated because whatever someone is moving on to is more balanced. It's really going to make this person happy or make you very happy. It's a very abundant connection or that's what someone is seeking. Wherever this person is right now or wherever you are, 
Scorpio or were, it just was not giving you what you wanted, what you know you needed in your life. You always felt like something was missing, something was lacking. And that's why you chose to move on or you're choosing to move on. Or this person is. Give me an energy for the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here for Scorpio? I have the Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here for Scorpio? I have the Four of Cups. So yeah, somebody's being rejected. That's what this is. I feel like this person don't feel good enough. Whoever this person feels like you're going towards or whoever's coming towards you, Scorpio, um, this Four of Cups energy likes to compare herself or himself to you or to this other energy. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Scorpio? What is the message? I have the Tower, Scorpio energy. I feel like somebody didn't expect this change. This is something that's happening abruptly out of the blue. For some of you too, somebody didn't expect for whoever you're going towards to be so attractive, so appealing, a go-getter. Or this is how somebody feels when it comes to you. There's something about comparison here. Somebody's comparing themselves. Give me an energy for the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here for Scorpio? What is the message? Why is the Four of Cups here for Scorpio? What is the energy spirit? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like somebody don't want to see you building with another person. For some of you, this is a third party. Somebody thought um, they were it. They were your match. Or that they were always going to be able to be a third party. They were always going to be able to hold a spot in your life or this person's life. Give me an energy for the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Scorpio? What is the message? The hangman, Pisces energy. Somebody is just becoming more enlightened. They're realizing what they want, what they don't want. Somebody's realizing um, what they actually deserve. Give me another energy for the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? We have all three water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So somebody definitely um, could have very significant water placements. We have um, Pisces out here twice. Give me another energy for the Eight of Cups. I have the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is searching for something that's long term. A real commitment. Something that's going to be very stable. Somebody just wants something different. Taurus energy on the Hierophant. Why is the Hangman here? Something that's going to really last. And that's not fleeting. Something that's just not for the moment. Why is the hangman here? For Scorpio, what is the energy? The Ten of Swords. I feel like you know what this person knows. Like by taking this action, it's going to leave whoever they're walking away from in devastation. We have two Ten of Swords. So I feel like, you know, the first Ten of Swords is the fact that this person is getting left. And then who this person is getting left for? Or who this masculine or feminine energy is going to end up with. Or who you're going to end up with. That's the other Ten of Swords. Something about this person just comparing themselves. Like this is somebody for some of you that have low self-esteem. They don't really have high confidence. Give me an energy for the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here for Scorpio? What is the energy? Why is the Hierophant here for Scorpio? What is the message, Spirit? The Knight of Swords. Somebody's going to try to come in and ruin this. For some of you, this is somebody that you were in a higher level of commitment with, that you were married to. Somebody's going to have... I'm hearing stop a wedding. So for some of you, somebody may actually try to stop a ceremony. But this person wants something to end badly, does not want you to go through with walking away, don't want you to go through with this commitment, this relationship, this marriage. Give me an energy for the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to stop you from walking away and leaving them for good or this person. 
Give me an energy for the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? What is the energy? The Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, somebody does not want a commitment to go through. For some of you too, I feel like when you connect with this person, something's going to move very quickly. It's not going to take you a long time to get into a serious relationship and to ultimately end up being married to this energy, moving in together. I feel like, again, Eight of Wands, things are going to move very quickly. I feel like once you and this person establish um, some type of foundation with each other, things are going to go very quickly. Give me an energy for the Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. For some of you too, I feel like um, another part of this person's devastation is just how quickly things are going to move between you and this other energy tell me more about the ten of swords everything is fine why is the ten of swords everything is fine here for scorpio what is the energy the fool i'm telling you like someone is leaving aquarius energy somebody's leaping in an entirely different direction and it's going to be like the speed of lightning and once you and this person get together, that's going to be it. And you're going to just end up elevating this relationship. But it's going to be at a fast pace. Something has to do with things moving at a rapid pace for you and this person. And then I'm hearing like slow down. I just want to get to know you. I think, isn't that pretty Ricky that sings that song? Somebody's name could begin with the letter R. Somebody's name could be Rick, Ricky, Richard. I'm also hearing Tyrone. Give me an energy for the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, I'm telling you, like, something's going to end their marriage. This person's going to be watching this online. Somebody's going to have to act like they're okay, but they're really not. Somebody's going to be deeply hurt, wounded by this. Five of Cups. Six of Swords. Somebody's going to be in their feelings. Because you're walking away or this person is leaving. But you're actually being guided away. You're being guided in a different direction. And again, whoever this energy is that you were dealing with or that this person was dealing with. This is somebody who wears a mask. This is somebody who's like very hateful. Like I said, somebody has like low self-esteem, like this is a hater. This is somebody who hates on anybody that they feel is better than them, looks better than them, dresses better than them, just have a better life overall, gets more attention, nine of pentacles behind that. Yeah, it's like this person don't like where you sit, don't like how stable, abundant you are. There's just a lot of comparison going on here. Like, why not me? Why her? Why him? Give me an energy on the five of cups. Why is the Five of Cups here for Scorpio? What's the energy? Why is the Five of Cups here for Scorpio? What is the message spirit? The Empress. For some of you, this is somebody that regrets letting you get away. For some of you, somebody let their Empress get away. Or Scorpio, you let your empress get away. Libra, Taurus, energy, heavy on the Taurus. I feel like this is somebody that's coming to find you, coming in search of you. Somebody's looking for you. Give me energy for the Six of Swords. Somebody's looking for you. I have the Seven of Pentacles. The... Ace of Cups, the Emperor, Aries Energy. Somebody wants to give you this love offer. This is definitely a faded partnership. This is something that um, is meant to be. I'm hearing star-crossed love lovers. So you and this person were meant to cross each other's path, was meant to build a life together that's filled with a lot of emotional bliss blessings happiness but again seven of pentacles like 
there's somebody watching you. It's like somebody's waiting. Somebody wants their turn. Somebody wants to be chosen. <laughs> That's what this is. Covet energy. Somebody wants what you have, what's meant for you, or wants what this person has. Somebody wants to be you. Or somebody wants to be this other energy that you're going towards. Give me a message for the chariot. Heavy Aquarius energy. The nine of wands. Somebody wants to block someone from moving forward. For some of you too, you have a secret hater at work. Somebody's trying to hold you back. For some of you, you could... um. Work with someone who's trying to put a lot of burdens on you. I'm hearing job title. This could be somebody who is a superior. But somebody's like trying to give you more work than you can actually handle. Like they know it's too much, but they do it intentionally just to keep you stressed out. But this is somebody who's just jealous of you. They're jealous of your talent, of the work that you do, how well you handle things, time management. But yeah, Scorpio, there's somebody trying to block you or block this person from moving forward, from coming towards you. They don't want to see the day. This person has been doing a lot in order to ensure that um, things don't go any further. Or don't move forward at all. Give me an energy for the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? I have the Hermit and the Magician. We have Virgo energy, Heavy Virgo. And we have Gemini energy. So this person is going to reach out to you. Um, for some of you, this is going to be some type of secret communication. For some of you, this person is going to reach out to you online. Be mindful too. Because for some of you, this... It's going to be whoever this third party energy is in disguise. Somebody's going to be disguising themselves as this emperor or empress energy. And that's only to sabotage this union. This is somebody who's going to be coming in with lies. Somebody's definitely very manipulative here. So make sure that you know who you're talking to. I'm hearing FaceTime. For some of you, you may want to, you know, see if you can FaceTime the person. Just make sure you're speaking to the correct energy and not whoever is in this Knight of Wands energy. Because somebody definitely wants to be a hindrance. They don't want to see you move forward or don't want to see this other energy move forward. Give me a final message. Why is this significant for Scorpio? What is the message? King of Swords. Because like I said, somebody's cutting someone off. For some of you, again, this is somebody cutting multiple people off. Somebody's ready to transform their, their life. For some of you, this is somebody that is focused on their healing as well. But somebody has to do what they have to do for themselves. What's going to make them happy? What's going to allow them to elevate and not stay stuck in the same place, the same cycle? Somebody's raising their consciousness as well. Somebody's receiving a lot of downloads from spirit. And I feel like this person is connecting the dots. They're seeing, you know, where the hindrances are, especially when it comes to their connections, their relationships. Or this is you, Scorpio. Take it as it resonates. But somebody's in this King of Swords energy and they mean business. They're being, you know very firm they're not backing down this is somebody that knows what they want this is somebody that's making a clear-cut decision and taking action on it or they're about to they're ready to so spirit this is um i said so spirit <laughs> so scorpio this is your reading take what resonates stay true to thyself and real with thyself, grow with me as I grow with you. Something that has to do with Spirit Airlines. That's what I just picked up on. So stay blessed.